Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back here to do my unempty. So everything I melted this week but didn't finish. Um, I do want to go to bed after this as I mentioned in my empties. I had my Pfizer shot yesterday. I am a bit tired so um, yeah hopefully I don't babble on too long because I'd like to yeah get this wrapped up. But the wax. So first up I've got these two shot cups. So I did K blueberry cobbler and French bread. Um, it was a really good combo. Her French bread is a really nice, bready, like, sharp, savoury bread scent. Um, and it was good because it cut through that kind of sweetness of the blueberry cobbler because blueberry cobbler is a very sweet blueberry scent to me. I should say here too, when I say bl it's a blueberry scent, I haven't found a blueberry scent on this planet that actually smells like real, real blueberries. They all smell a lot sweeter than um, what blueberry actually smells like. Now... In fact, actually, blueberry, pumpkin, blueberry, blueberry, pumpkin has probably been the most realistic. Um, but I still enjoy it, so I enjoy the scent for what it is, not because I think it's blueberry. But anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. But yeah, I do like, so blueberry cobbler can be a little bit sweet for me, so I do like it cut with French bread. Really good combo, good throw. Um, I do this combo again, and when I repurchase... The French bread, I do like having that on hand as a blender, so I probably will get that again. I'm not sure if I need the blueberry cobbler. Like, I do get blueberry cobbler in blends from vendors, particularly with, yeah, like zucchini bread or with coffee or stuff, so something to cut this real sweetness. But, um, yeah, on its own, I'm not, not as big of a fan. Teddy Bee's Madagascar, so wheat, wet leaves, citrus, sandalwood, sugary notes. I really enjoy this one. It's really quite unique, and I think it, it's that whatever that sugary musk is about. Because it really does have a quite unique sugary tone. But it's just so well blended with the damp kind of wet, slightly woody kind of forest. Not forest, like it is more like a rainforest sort of scent. It, it actually, it does remind me a bit of... Um, uh, Rainforest Sugarcane, if you've smelt that. I think it's a little bit sweeter than Rainforest Sugarcane, but I do think it's in the same family. Um, it could even be the same scent, slightly differently blended or something, or from a different company. I don't know, because now smelling it, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting real sugar, um, Rainforest Sugarcane vibes from that. Great throw, and yes, I would get that again. I really enjoyed it. Maple Model Jam-Filled Donuts, so freshly made donuts ooze let's say oh, oozing I thought it was like a pea oozing with dark berry jam so similar to the maple immortal scent I talked about in my empties this one smelled like nothing when it first arrived but let it cure and it threw quite strongly unfortunately I hated the scent of this it smelled like coconut and feet I don't know how else to describe it I don't know. Jams are just so fickle with my nose. So I'm sure that would smell fantastic to somebody else. Like I know this with a lot of jam scents, strawberry jams and strawberries and stuff, um, that other people absolutely adore them. So they must smell different to other people than what they do to me. So this is just one of those ones that my nose just does not read right. So yeah, would not get that one again. Uh, humbug from Super Tart. So that's crisp apple, four leaves, orchard wood, prickly cactus and sea salt. So this one used to be Scrooge, which was Sweater Weather. So the first three notes there are Sweater Weather and then um, Cactus and Sea Salt are the next two. I really, really like this one. So I will say it doesn't smell like Sweater Weather. When I say that, I'm not a Sweater Weather aficionado. I've never smelt the actual uh, BBW version of Sweater Weather. Um, but I do know that there's, ver there's versions out there that I really enjoy. It's not to say I do like Super Tarts one as a like like a nice fresh scent, but it it just doesn't quite grab me the way that some of the other ones. I think Rose Girls has a has one that I particularly enjoy. But still, this is a really lovely, fresh, clean, green scent. Um, it does almost have a laundry vibe, but it just steers away from being too much like that to me. But it does, it, this one is a great one for Australian Christmas because, well, I wouldn't say it's very Christmassy personally, but 
it really does give that the house just a real sort of clean and green kind of feel. So I really do love that one. Great throw, and yes, I would get that one again. 28 Days from Super Tart, so Blueberry Pumpkin Cake Butter Vanilla Ice Cream Cranberry. I really like this one. I liked it more um, warmed up than I liked it cold. On cold, I was really nervous about kind of the cranberry and the sweetness from the cake butter and the vanilla ice cream. But on warm, just that combo of blueberry and pumpkin, I really enjoy it. Like it's, it just, this, the blueberry is not too sweet. It's just got a, it's got a really delicious kind of quality to it. And yeah, I, I. It's hard for me to say exactly what this smelt like. It smelt like a richer, very slightly tart kind of blueberry pumpkin scent. And I really liked it. Uh, I got great throw from it. I will probably melt a bit more of it before I decide if I, like I'm not, it's not screaming out to me as must get, you know, in large quantities again, but um, I think I might get it again one day. Super Tarts Lucille, so chocolate orca blue sugar. This I love. I have multiple clams of it already though, but this is just my ultimate blue sugar blend. That, it's just so smooth. It's got a really lovely sweetness to it. It's kind of manly, but because it has the sweetness from both the chocolate orchid and blue sugar, it's not like a real masculine heavy scent. But it's, it is cozy. It just... I get in a mood a lot lately where I want to melt scents like that, and this is like the epitome of that sort of scent that I look for. So I get great throw from this one. And yes, I've got multiples of it. It will be a repurchase at least for, for a while. I'm, I'm definitely not done with that one yet. Super Tarts wins in the East. So rain and strawberry. So I love her rain scents. This is my least favorite. Um, that said, I still, I don't hate it. The strawberry is probably one... It's not one of the ones that smells straight up like chemicals to me, but it does smell a bit odd. It's a bit jarring to my nose. Um, so I really enjoy the rain aspect of this. But the strawberry just, I don't know, it doesn't quite smell right. So yeah, I don't hate it. I do melt it. Um, but it's not going to be a repurchase. Like once I'm done, I'm done with this one. I will say this one is an absolute freaking powerhouse. So I had all the um, rain scents. So... Jessica Jones, Moody, Percy, and this all going on different parts of the house, like mid yesterday. Um, and because I got my shot, I didn't feel like changing like yesterday or in the you know in the morning this morning. So I left them going for a good long while. They always switch off overnight, but um, yeah. So yesterday and today, and all of them were still throwing by the end of it, but. This one was throwing as strong as when I put it in. Like, it was crazy. So, great throw, but, yeah, not something I'd get again. Super Tarts Feed the Birds. So, Fresh Mint Blueberry Muffins. I didn't like this. I actually had to change it out. I think what I was hoping from this one is um, that it would be a blueberry muffin scent with just a little bit of mint. But, to me, it's really the other way around. It's mostly mint with a bit of – with a touch of blueberry. And her Fresh Mint is a bit odd. It's it's quite sweet. Um, I smelled it in One Tree Hill as well, uh, which is like raindrops and fresh mint. And like it's not sweet like spearmint sweet. It's just I don't know. It's odd. It's sweet. It doesn't really smell like fresh mint to me. So yeah, I I really didn't like this. Um, I probably won't be able to melt any more of it. But it was very strong. Again, another one of those ones. If it hadn't been quite as strong, I probably would have been able to get through it. But um, yeah, it was strong and I could not. Uh, one cube left of Jessica Jones, although I do have some more. Um, Blackberry and Rain. So yes, another one of my favourite rain scents from her. I just got that amazing fruity blackberry from her. And a good dose of that rain. Sorry, I've got wax like falling down over here. Um, it smells amazing. It's not jarring like that Winds in the East scent was. Oh, it's so, so good. Um, best black I've tried a few vendor Blackberry Rains. This one is the best. Great throw. This one is super strong. 100%. I've got more of it and I'll continue to repurchase it. Love, love, love that one. It's a Jolly Holiday from Super Tarts. So Funnel Cakes and Blackberry. So this one has definitely grown on me. I remember the first time I had a clam of this. I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, 
And I still, I think it was because I was expecting like a lot of bakery out of it. And yes, I can smell the funnel cakes and it's nice. But to me, this is just about that amazing juicy blackberry of hers. I get the blackberry so strong. And then it's definitely got sweetness from the funnel cake. And a little bit of kind of like a fried dough aspect. But again, it's, yeah. It's just kind of like a base layer for that amazing blackberry scent of hers. So, um, and, um, and this is... If I smell this up against her blackberry, it does smell different. It smells a bit sweeter. But, yeah, it, it, this one is definitely all about the blackberry for me. Great throw. And, yes, I would get that one again. It is really lovely. Doing this one in the bedrooms at the moment. So Super Tarts Illuminati, Mistletoe, Clean Linen, Pomegranate, Lemon Custard. I really love this one. I think it's super underrated. It's just, it's clean. It's It's clean without smelling like a cleaning product, which is really when I want a clean, like a, a fresh clean scent that's what I want I don't like scents that smell like you know laundry products or cleaning products or anything like that if I want my house to smell like that I'll use cleaning products um so this one just it's not over it's not too strong on the lemon um custard or curd at all like it's not a super fruity scent but there is a there is a nice sort of fruity mix to it it's just it's so so good great throw and yeah I do need more of this like I I always forget about this one like I almost didn't grab it I can't remember um what order it was in but I nearly didn't grab it I was like oh no I remember liking that one and then I'm melting it at the moment I'm like no I really do like this one this is like one of my all-time favorite like if I was ever gonna be in a mood where I'd want laundry or like clean kind of scents this is like right up there in terms of the ones that I'd want to be melting so it's great putting a couple of clams aside because I blended them so I should wait until I actually get to the point where I find find the bit thing that I blended with them super tarts rockabilly so pear whipped cream buttercream cupcakes um not a huge fan her pear smells very perfume like to me so in a bakery scent it just doesn't smell that great I get coconut off this one too I don't know why it kind of smell like pear coconut and cupcakes which is a bit weird um it only threw medium as well so yeah not something i'll repurchase okay where do we go next teddy bees the queen's dowry so strawberry pound cake toasted marshmallows pecan waffles absolutely love this one teddy bees has one of my favorite strawberry pound cakes it's one of the few that smells really like strawberry and bakery and with her amazing pecan waffles it's just oh It really just smells, it smells like strawberry pecan waffles. Oh, so freaking good. Great throw from this one. 100% need more of this. Like, I think I've tried some strawberry pecan waffle blends from vendors and I'm, I'm still trying, but I don't think anything's going to top that one. That one is the winner. Ebony Violet uh, Flying High, which is I Should Change My Pod, which is strawberry pound cake, warm sugar cookies, sweet frosting, and birthday cake with zucchini bread. So this is really good. It's got a really rich kind of savory bakery. So it's got quite a bit of the zucchini bread, but when you warm it up, like smelling it now, but when you warm it up, I feel like the strawberry pound cake and the cookies and the um, birthday cake come out more. And they add more sweetness. But it's not like a super strong strawberry pancake scent. So a really good bakery. I get great for it. I don't need that one in huge quantities, but I would get it again, I think. Uh, Ebony Violet April's Dance. So Boom Boom and Sweet on Paris. This was really lovely as well. So I did a few Boom Boom scents and I was a bit disappointed in them this week. But this one was good. These two scents just go together really well. It just adds a slight kind of more creamy nature to the Sweet on Paris. Makes it a little bit more kind of body care-like. Really, really lovely. Great throw. I don't think I need it again because, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of – I went a bit overboard on these Boom Boom Forward blends. I don't mind a little bit of Boom Boom in a blend, but I just – yeah, I don't need it in everything, so – a Teddy Bee's High Class, so Blackberry Sugar Violets with Boom Boom. This one, I, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't, the Teddy Bee's Boom Boom blends, I went kind of crazy on them back in um, the, yeah, the early, early year pre-order, like January or whatever. 
Like, this one smells pretty. It smells like blackberry sugar violets. Yeah. It didn't throw it very well. It was probably medium at best. And I was just, eh. So, yeah, that one might be a repurchase. There was another one too. Let me see if it's there. Oh, yeah. This one I was a bit disappointed in too. Uh, Boom Boom's on the beach from Teddy Bees. So, Beaches of Narth, which is apple-infused coconut water, tropical fruits, citrus berries, tuberose, suntan lotion, warm driftwood with creme de Boom Boom. I really didn't smell this one melting either. Um... But yeah, that smells kind of light on cold as well. It smells nice, and I do think I've smelt beaches enough before, and I like, I've liked that. Kind of floral, fruity, pretty scent, but not great throw. So, uh, look, I might try those again maybe in my office when I'm down here to see how I feel about them then, but, yeah, I don't think they'll be repurchases. I've got this going in the kitchen at the moment, so off the hook from Rose Girls. This one is meant to be, I think, like a woody, patchouli, sea salt, like salty sea air kind of scent. All I really get is a really salty aquatic scent, like salty sea air. and Almost smells like pool water. But to be honest, her all of her, her salty sea air, um, like it kind of reminds me of Don't Be Salty, but without the cucumber. So yeah, I think this would have been better if it had. I know it was meant to have like woodsy, um, earthy tones, but it really doesn't have that. It's just a it's just a strong salt water scent. So I don't hate it, but um, I'm, yeah, I'm not crazy about it. It's throwing well, but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't purchase that one. Uh, tea time tarts, sandalwood sugar cookies. So sugar cookies, uh, vanilla bean and sandalwood. This was really lovely. Her sandalwood is just an epic woody sandalwood scent. It's one of my favourite sandalwoods. I mostly did get sandalwood from this, but with a light, sweet cookie. It was really lovely. The throw was probably only medium to high. Um, I might stick with this one more towards medium, I'd say. I did it in the kitchen, but I'd say next time I'd do that um, in the office when I'm in here so I can enjoy it a little bit more. Uh, uh, L3 wonders bell hook, so chrome... Cuban Tobacco Whipped Cream Boardwalk Mother Clouds. I really, really like this one. Um, I'm still kind of going back and forth because I think she's still got some on the site. And I'm tempted to, because she's got the moving sale at the moment, the 20% off. I am kind of tempted to go and get some, but I shouldn't. But what I really like about it is the way that she's used the Boardwalk Mother Clouds to kind of sweeten the... So the chrome and the Cuban Tobacco can be quite sharp, sort of masculine scents. And you definitely do get those notes, but it's just so creamy and dreamy. It's really, really lovely. Um, it throws well. This one's pretty strong. And yet I can't decide. <laughs> I feel like I don't need huge quantities of it, and especially because I think she's only got it in puppy packs as well. Oh, no, and I, I think I – did I get a bag in the pre-order? So I may already have one bag. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I like it. I don't need lots of it, but I like it. Southbound strawberry pound cake cookie jar. So take a breath when I read the description. Strawberry pound cakes, super sugar cookies, frosted sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, and vanilla shortbread cookies. Um, I really, really enjoy this. So her strawberry pound cake, again, is one of my favourites. I think Teddy Bees and Southbound have my favourite strawberry pound cake. And this one just smells phenomenal. It's got a good hit of cookie to it. It's got that delicious strawberry pound cake. I've said it before when I've melted this. My only beef with this one is that... Um, the strawberry pound cake doesn't last super long, so probably after three-ish hours, it's mostly just the cookie scent, but still love it. Um, I don't, I might repurchase it. Maybe I'll try something different with her strawberry pound cake, because it's really just the fact, it's not, like that cookie jar scent she does in so many different blends that I don't really feel like I must have that one, but, um, yeah, I would definitely get something else with her strawberry pound cake. Uh, L3 Blueberry Pumpkin Zucchini Bread. So I love this. Like I've said, I love Blueberry Pumpkin. It's got the, it's just beautiful, sweet, almost kind of savoury. And the Zucchini Bread blends really well with that. Just delicious, yeah, Blueberry Pumpkin Bakery. It's hard to describe Blueberry Pumpkin, but I just love it. Um, I get great through from this. I did this on its own, and I also did it with... 
Um, so that, that scoop's going to go quickly. I keep reaching for it. Um, I did it with pumpkin pecan waffles as well from L3, and that combo went really, really well. So um, just a little bit of extra kind of sweetness, and, yeah, it was really beautiful. So um, great throw, and, yes, I would 100% get more of both of those scents. So I love them. Uh, blueberry cheesecake waffles from Teddy B's. So blueberries, creamy cheesecake, butter pecan waffles, maple syrup. Love this. I'm going to be hoarding this last half of a souffle until uh, she re this one, which I don't know when it will be. I love Teddy B's, but the infrequency of the pre-orders, because she only really does one every... Does she do three a year or four a year? I think it only works out to be kind of three. Anyway, um, so if it doesn't hit the next pre-order, which it didn't, then you're waiting a long time and you might you just, yeah. Like, I don't like buying huge quantities in for mo most brands, but Teddy Bees is one that if I think I'm going to like a scent, I need, really need to, like, get more. But this is just amazing. Like, I can smell everything. I can smell the cheesecake. I can smell the maple syrup. And normally I don't like maple syrup, but here it just works. And a little bit of blueberries and, oh, it's just sweet, creamy, delicious bakery heaven. I love this one so much. Um, I get great throw from it. And, yes, I will be getting hordes of that um, when I can. So just giving myself a bit more room to move. Okay. So L3 uh, Blueberry Cobbler Fresh Baked Bread. So this is really good. Um, again, like I said, Blueberry Cobbler, a bit on the sweet side for me. So, um... Fresh baked bread is a really good uh, combo for it. And I did, so I think I, I talked about Kay. I did her fresh bread and her blueberry cobbler. I'm not sure which part I like more, but whether it was just the blend that I did or what, but I, I like this L3 version better. The blueberry kind of smells deeper, less sweet. And maybe I just like the bread set more. I don't know. But I really, really like this one. I get great throw from it. Um, don't know. I mean, we'll see how I feel. It's always hard to say um, when I've still got, like, more than half a loaf left, whether I'll still want it by the time I'm done with said loaf. But um, right now I love it and I want to keep melting it. Um, L3, You Can't Sit With Us. So this is Wild Brew Moose and today is October 3rd, which is Palo Santo, Sugar Cook Royale and... Um, toasted marshmallows I did this one and I just did Luna Wax because I had it but I could have done um, L3's uh, I threw some more Palo Santo in there because I'm finding as much as I like um, Palo Santo Bakery today's October 3rd is not doing it for me anymore I'm not getting enough um, Palo Santo from it so it was really good. When I threw the extra Palo Santo in, it added that woody tone that I was really looking for. So I really enjoyed it. It was like a nice creamy wild berry with a good hit of woodsiness. Um, it was great. So, yeah. Um, I don't think I need to get this You Can't Sit With This One. Like, I do like it, but Wild Berry Moose in today's October 3rd hasn't been my favorite combo. It's it's fine. Um, I think I prefer Wild Berry Moose with zucchini bread and stuff like that. Um and I haven't melted Luna Wax's Palo Santo Solo yet, but it did the trick. So, um, yeah, good scent. <laughs> Southbound Blue Marshmallow Cream Cookies. So this is Blue Sugar Vanilla Sugar Sugar Cookie Dough. Hang on. Blue Sugar Vanilla Sugar Cookie Dough and Fluffy Marshmallow Cream. Um, this is good. It's a very creamy, sweet Blue Sugar bakery, like. It's actually not super bakery, to be honest. Like, sh and Sugar Cookie Dough does that to me sometimes, especially when it's blended with, like, marshmallows and stuff. And her marshmallow cream is very sweet. So this is almost like a marshmallow meringue kind of confection with blue sugar, which I'm not complaining about. It is good. I do think I prefer my blue sugar with a bit more of a stronger bakery tone, but I do enjoy that one. Um, I get good throw from it. I don't think I need to repurchase it, but it's, it's not bad. L3 Blackberry Jam Mellow Fluff Zucchini Bread. So this is really good. This is one of my uh, customs from earlier this year. I do think I need to rebag it though. The, these bloody doggy bags get so beaten up. Um, I think once it's down to, because I'm down to two and a half chunks. Uh, so once I've finished this chunk, I'll maybe look to rebag it. It should fit in the bag by then. 
Um, this is good. Her blackberry jam is a little bit sharp for me. I prefer the sweeter types. Maybe next time I dial up the mellow fluff. I, I don't. I don't think I'd do this one again, but I have enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I just the blackberry jam for this. I was looking for that really kind of sweet blackberry jam scent, and it didn't quite get there. But it's still been a good blend, and it is very strong. Um, Ebony Violet While We're Young. So Boardwalk, Mellow Clouds and Vanilla Sandalwood. So I do really enjoy this, even though I'm kind of getting a bit over Boardwalk, Mellow Clouds, especially in a blend, like when it's sort of at the forefront of a blend like this one. This label's like about to come off. So it is very sweet, but the Vanilla Sandalwood is lovely and I love those kind of sandalwood tones. So it's very pretty, beautiful sort of light incense kind of Boardwalk, Mellow Clouds tone. So get strong throw from it. Um, don't know if I need to re-get that one again, but I do enjoy it. I'm sort of getting down to where I just did blending. I'm not sure. I, oh yeah, I think I remember. So, Tea Time Tarts, Coconut Sandalwood and Driftwood. I do really like this scent. I did a bit of kind of coconut melting this week. But this is a really lovely woody coconut. Probably get a bit more Driftwood than Sandalwood in this one. But yeah, it's really lovely. I got good throw from it. Um, don't think I need to get that one again, but it is nice. Uh, L3 Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Sugar Shortbread. This I love. So this one has the sort of Palo Santo strength that I'm looking for. It's got m more in it than um, Today is October 3rd does by a way, by a fair way. This one is just perfection. Like sugared shortbread too, I think is a really underrated bakery scent of hers. It just it always smells good no matter what it's in. So I just it's just a fantastic Palo Santo bakery. There is pumpkin pecan waffles, but to me it's not like overwhelmingly strong. It's a good mix of the woodiness, sort of the sweet, slightly nuttiness pecan waffles, and then the mix of the different cookie scents. But yeah, absolutely, I love this one. Wish that all of the Palo Santo bakeries were as strong as this one. Um, great throw as well. And I, I reckon, I mean, again, I'm not even halfway through that loaf, but I do think that one would be one to get again. Okay. What did I... So now I've got like a bunch of scents that I melted, but what, let's see if I can figure out what I blend, what I paired with what. So I did. I should have done this before I got to this. Um, okay, one of these I mustn't have melted. No, I didn't. Okay, that's why I'm confusing myself because I had three scents that I knew I blended and then three kind of, so like three sort of blender bases, so bakery bases. But then I had a fourth one sitting there. I was trying to figure out what it was. So I had Harry sitting there, but I don't think I, I didn't use that one this week. Okay, so I did Are You Afraid of the Dark from Super Tarts, which is orange, campfire, mellow fluff, and buttercream with zucchini bread adipose from um, L3. This was a really good combo. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? I like it, but I much prefer it with bakery. So I discovered melting it with fake and bake was like jaw droppingly good. This was also pretty good, but I think I preferred it with the fake and bake. Just the cookie scent really, really just did something for me. But still, this is really good. I really liked, I just, I don't know. Are You Afraid of the Dark with Bakery is just amazing. I am going to repurchase Are You Afraid of the Dark, even though when I first melted it, I was like, I don't think I need to get this one again. But now that I've discovered how well I like it with fake and bake in particular, but any bakery, um, I will continue to get it. Because it's the slight smoky orange with bakery. It's just heavenly combo. I did Sister Sisters, uh, so sugar cookies, marshmallows, cotton candy and ice cream. I did this one with cookie therapy, so Santa's on keto, pretzel, sugar, shortbread. So Sister Sisters to me is just too toothachingly sick, sick, sickly sweet. So I actually don't mind, because um, this is Anna and Elsa, I think, um, together. And I don't mind the, so one of them is sugar cookies and marshmallows. The other one is cotton candy and ice cream. I don't mind the sugar cookie marshmallow one on its own. But when you add the cotton candy and ice cream, it's just too sweet for me. Uh, so I thought pairing it with uh, cookie therapy would kind of tone that down. Because 
Cooking therapy has a real kind of savoury, almost savoury tone from the pretzel. Um, and look, I liked it, but it was just kind of, it was a combo that didn't need to happen, if that makes sense. Like, I would have preferred cookie therapy on its own. Sweetening it up with the Sister Sisters didn't really do it any favours. So it was fine, but um, yeah. So Sister Sisters not going to repurchase. Still kind of sitting, maybe I should um, like de-stash it because I just don't know what to do with it. But um, yeah, the but cookie therapy will probably be a repurchase. I, I really enjoy that one. And then the last combo I did this week was um, Teddy Bee's Frosted Lemon Circus Cookies and Zucchini Bread Cookie Crack. And this was really good. So um, the Teddy Bee's Frosted Lemon Circus Cookies I don't love. So I know a lot of people do, but for me, the it's just a very sweet lemon curd. Her frosted circus sugar cookies, while I enjoy it, it is on the lighter side for bakery blenders. So you either have to blend it very carefully, I found, or yeah, and this one I just I don't think that the lemon the lemon curd just overwhelms the frosted circus cookies. So it's just a very sweet, so lemon butter cream and lemon curd. Um so yeah, it just it just needs more bakery. Uh, and so blending it with the zucchini scent really kind of did that. And I did do more zucchini than I did of the um, of the frosted lemon. So and that worked really well for me. Like there was, it was just a really delicious lemon bakery then. So it threw really well. Um, I don't need to repurchase either of those scents. The teddy bears because I'm not a big fan of it. And the I've still got literally because I accidentally bought two loaves of this one. I still have two and uh, another whole loaf. Of this scent and it's not one I even want to melt solo because her cookie crack is just uh, it, it's a bit of a non-starter for me because I can't smell some of the cookie scent in there the frosted animal cracker scent or the pink frosted co animal cookie scent in there um I can't smell so um that loaf is fine but I just like I would much prefer to have a loaf of zucchini bread out of pose than zucchini bread cookie crack that's just I just think it's a much better combo uh, that is it. That is everything that I have melted this week. So hopefully you're all doing really well. Surprisingly, not that tired yet. Um, it's quite strange. I was really expecting to need to pass out after this. Um, I hope you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.